Hi, so after the last video about uh, this lightning, Bitcoin lightning um, media store and the tutorial of Michael Rhee, um, I want to go through some steps I, I did here, um, which are basically developing um, this uh, media store here which uh, Michael developed to the next level. Um, so you can see here, this is a super simple media store. And what you needed here is a check payment button if you want to verify if the payment went through. So you had to press your check payment, check payment, check payment to really get to the point that you can download. Um, and also, like, um, I highly recommend to go through my other video and also through this first um, that you understand what this is about and um, he also recommended here some ideas about how you can develop uh, the whole thing um, to the next level and um, what I did basically is this one so dynamic payment verification so that the user does not have to click the button to check if their invoice was paid and the other thing I implemented was this and um, currently I'm, test, I'm trying to get this whole thing running online somewhere uh, so that it's really possible to try and also I want to I need to do some documentation of the code and then I will probably push it on github and you can uh, check it out okay so uh, maybe to give you a really quick view on how this currently looks um, so this is the media store i just deleted some css because i wanted to anyway go over the layout uh, in addition but um, okay so uh, the owner of this media store is dave and um, let's try to buy this um, this piece of art here I click buy so you can see here is uh, a QR code and this is the address and then you can go here to the testing thing in polar and say I pay the invoice and now it's going through and you see that this is automatically verified and now I can get the data or the the download yeah and um, it's not as not so clever that it already detects that I've bought this one so I could also I could go like like this and now let's pay this one but it will not remember that's what I wanted to say so you can see here now this one is paid and this one is still open let's try if we can also pay this one so this one is now also paid you see that it's not like it's not remembering what happened in the past yet but anyway I think this is quite interesting how you do this verification and I want to show you in the code uh, so what I did is I separated the front end and the back end here and um, so the first uh, function which is called in the back end is the function to get the price and generate in the end the invoice um, um, in the back end so this is generating uh, this code here basically or some additional information but also mainly this code that's the important part um, and um, yeah so this is the same as uh, in, in Michael Rees example um, but what's new is this check invoice stream thing um, and what I used here is uh, the stream and the stream what the stream basically does uh, it's uh, this is in the documentation of um, just a second this is also written if in the lightning proto uh, documentation and it checks for data and you can see here that I, I added some console log. So if you press, then you can see here that data, it's going uh, stream on data, it's going in here. And um, 
these data events are um, it's mul you can you can trigger them multiple times I'm, I'm not so sure when stream on data is triggered but if I um, if I just monitor stream on data then it's triggered multiple times and uh, the important thing is here to ask for is the data settled now so within the data stream maybe we can show this uh, like this you can see it just a second so if I go here and I press buy uh, and I check now my logs um, sorry I have to pay so if I go here and say pay invoice and it's going in here and uh, because it can go in here with different events and different things you need to you, you basically checking the result of data for settle true this means it's paid and if it's settled true and if the payment request in data so there's also this payment request which is the, um, the f this one should be the same as the number or the the string which is uh, generated and if they are the same um, then I'm setting the data to be returned so I return the whole object here and I also call stream destroy I'm not sure if this is uh, the correct way to do it but it works uh, when I test it so I if you call stream destroy then it's going into this one into stream on close and um, then it returns basically the data okay so let's let's check the front end what the front end is doing um, yeah, now here I'm in the front end I I did some changes here to put it in a component but um, yeah so um, now I have a function here called generate invoice and check so in this function is doing multiple things it's it's uh, fetching the invoice um, and then updating of course uh, the field the text field where the invoice um, ends up in the end and what it does then after it then call so it, it fetches generate invoice and it also fetches the check invoice stream one and, and this is um, this is this data stream and if the data stream is true then it uh, returns it sets all the field to Thank you for the payment um, and it sets this button to paid and it then forwards me to having uh, these download and view links here so it's one big function before there was one function for generate invoice and another function for uh, check the invoice and now it's one function with the data stream in between um, yeah so so that's it um, yeah um, so um, anything special here so I was I was having problems in between with uh, especially this setup here of how to to work with stream on data and stream close and stream destroy this was not so clear for me i basically found out by try and error here um but yeah now it seems to work uh of course the whole thing gets much more complicated if you if you use something like historic uh thing uh, like historic things you bought or something um yeah okay so then um let's go to the front end because the other thing i added here is the qr code and this is super simple because i just used this qr code thing here this react qr code and 
the QR code is just the the same so that the text in the QR code is is exactly this and um, this thing just generates it out of M invoice and M invoice is at some point uh, filled with this invoice uh, string and um, yeah so this is basically just just minor things I changed so I just switch on this uh, this uh, QR code field if the buy button is on true and um, yeah so yeah not so complicated but if you compare with the original code I I rewrote this thing uh, completely I think um, to fit my use case here basically also I, I did the style component yeah so currently I'm trying to get this online um, and to really run it um, yeah but that's it so if you want to try this uh, soon there will be the code on github thanks